And hello everyone, this is Francisco from Tech Summit. And today is a very special day. Today is the second day of New York City Comic Con. And I'm going to be visiting Comic Con with some of my friends. We're definitely very excited to check out uh, some of the events there and to see some of the people there as well, some of the special guests. And we figured that we would actually vlog through some of it. Obviously within reason, I do understand that there are some rules and regulations with Comic Con. So we will be making sure to keep those things in mind. However, we are pretty prepared to go through with it and a buddy of mine actually wanted to vlog alongside with me. So I have to carry around two camera kits. Either way, pretty cool. And in here I'm trying to keep things as light as possible. I have a battery bank so that I can charge this uh, Sony A6400. Micro USB for my camera. USB-C for my phone, one of these little bags, they always come in handy over there. Sometimes they give them away for free, but sometimes they don't, and when they don't, that's when things get a little frustrating. I got my actual ticket. You, so it's just going to be for the commute essentially until I meet up with everyone. Extra Gorilla Pod here. This is going to be for my buddy who's going to be using my Panasonic G7 to vlog. For the smaller shots or for some B-roll, I've got this little case here. I've got my GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 6. I just went straight for the 6 because I wanted to save a little bit of money and I'm still incredibly happy with it. I got four batteries for this guy so it's definitely going to last me quite a while. And then here, so this little bag, I've got the Ta Tascar microphone since Comic Con, uh, they have stuff going on outside sometimes. There might be some wind so I actually have a wind socket here for that microphone as well. And then the G7 is in here. He's got five batteries. My other Sony batteries haven't arrived, so I kind of just have to go with two batteries. This is the Sony A6400, and from my experience, battery life isn't fantastic. But anyway, I'm definitely very excited to see what's going to go on. We're going to be seeing things from two different perspectives. I'm using a Gorilla Pod right now from Joby uh, with my Sony 6400. They might not allow us to use that over there though. So that's the case, I will just be going handheld. But we'll just have to see. I'll ask around and see if this is too egregious. But I do know that selfie sticks aren't allowed at all over there. But this is technically not a selfie stick, but it can be misconstrued that way. But I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'll be seeing you guys in literally just a bit. So right now we're just waiting in line here because we want to well, this guy wants to get a signature. From Sean Schemmel. From Sean Schemmel, exactly. He's very excited. I'm just gonna watch him get the signature, then we're gonna do other things. <laughs> Smile. This is his camera, I'm holding it for him. <laughs> How's that? There you go. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. I went from YouTuber to peasant. Where's the where's 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 tech news? <laughs> <laughs> the tech tech news. Technically, I don't, I don't do tech news. Technically, we're not a tech channel. <laughs> um, we're, 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 a, we're a reaction channel. <laughs> Just for today, we're a yes. Reaction. Only for today. And today, I'm reacting to Ricky. Subscribe to Gaming Filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> so can I remember that? Yes, his old channel. Go watch his old videos. They're no. so great. No, they're not. They're so great in 2019. No, they're not. Is it worth it in 2019? It's absolutely not. It's garbage. So we were too late. Uh, we actually ran out of time. That means we have to come back just a little bit later at around 2 o'clock. It's still about, what, 12.30? Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's still around 12.30, so we're just going to go around and see what else we can do. Uh, maybe even see if Wacom is around to see if they are going to bring us any new drawing tablets soon. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ricky saw figurines. We're gonna go look at some figurines then. Let's go. Oh my God. I even wonder if there are any of them for sale actually. Just like yeah. here to look. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Ricky convinced me to do it. Wait, what? I owe you how much? 15 bucks. <laughs> what? Uh, I bought this myself with my own uh, hard earned money. Okay, so right now I'm just taking a seat, walking around for the longest time will make your legs cramp like crazy. Sometimes you won't even realize until you leave. But I guess not because I'm getting older. It's hurting me sooner. But anyway, Ricky is uh, trying to get the signature from Sean Shummel. So for now, I'm just looking over all the stuff I got. Super Saiyan Rick. Sonic yeah, he says. Bright. Two oh. <laughs> people just to make sure, and they're like, yes, bright. Right? Damn it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah. So those people paid 60 then? Yes, people pay 60. Well, they. those Yeah, those guys pay 60 for two pops paper. But some of them were like pictures and, you know, and mm -hmm. autographs. So okay. you got 60. Okay. Vegeta's 40 for all. Oh my goodness. Ah. Yeah, getting signatures is so expensive. What yep. was it worth? It? Yes, I have a little small talk with him. I was like, oh my god, I love their work and everything. Like, you know, <laughs> my childhood. And, and then just like I shook his hand. He was like, and I told him that I'm an animation major. He was like, oh, wow, that's cool, you know? He was uh -huh. like, I'll, I'll voice over your anime one day. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you will. You'll be first in line, Sean. Time by Goku is legit. Yes. It's legit. <laughs> so, quite frankly, I've been having a bit of a tough time just like processing everything that's going on because there's a lot going on. I know, I know. Like, yeah. when you see one celebrity person, you're like, whoa! But like, if there are like six, 17 people, you're like, oh. <laughs> it's like your excitement just spreads. Exactly. It's like, it's like an ocean, but it's a pond now. Like, really wide pond. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, and there are too many fish in there. It's, Mm -hmm. Yes, that's many important. Fish. Too many important fishes. It's like you see, you walk there, and then you're like, "Oh my God, there's Sean Shima. Then you're like, "Oh, there's Christopher Sabat." You're like, "Wow, oh. <laughs> who should I pick?" Yeah, dude, I, I get it. It's like the time with Ruby, right? Yeah. As I saw, like one of them, I was so excited. And when I saw all four, it was just like it just calmed me down for some reason because like, my excitement just spread. So this time we really were just focusing on getting signatures, but I think that after this, we're just gonna try to actually buy some merch. Yes, I want yeah. to buy some freaking figurines. I'm not sure if I'm able to custom figurines. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. I'll blur it out. I'll blur it You'll blur. I Demonetize. Right? Thinking true. <laughs> Story. Yeah. Ricky Wu, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> but right after, we're going to try to get some swag. That's going to be the most important part for me. Getting signatures is fun and all. But I need something that says I'm flexing on any one of my friends that didn't get to go. Where are you gonna get again? Huh? Where are you gonna get? Uh, I want to go to the PlayStation 4 booth. Oh, PlayStation 4. The Sony booth. Sony booth. Okay. Square Enix isn't here this year, unfortunately. Damn, so unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I really wanted to see it. Uh, the, the booth always looks so great. They always did. They, they're, uh, their mm -hmm. merch is really nice. Oh yeah. It's just expensive. Yes. Yeah. Last year, uh, I bought some Final Fantasy VII cards, uh, an actual starter deck. I've never used it though, because I don't know anyone that plays the game. I think I'm the only person that's even seen those cards. Well, Ricky bought, he was there with me when I, I bought I was there, I wouldn't yeah. Something like that, I'll, I'll have it bust down my walls. Those are key man. I know, I know how you build, how to make a wall, how to make a ramp, how to make a platform, phone. Like, why, oh, why does it look like it does? Uh, 
What? It's free. Uh, oh, I need to pick up weapons. Yeah. Scroll or press two. So how can you go? So left ship is to go back to the axe. That's a nice bind. That's cool, right? It's the whole gaming PC. This is the whole thing right here that you're playing on. Thanks. Nice. He's getting knocked over. Which is not anyone's fault. Oh, so there's, there's no Velcro for this one. <laughs> I see. Uh, has, has this actually been resealed? Huh? Has this been? Uh, yes. Yeah. B and H is the only place selling them right now. Oh. Actually, right here. If you guys each want one, you know, B and H is the only one selling these. And those uh, little guys back there. You want it? Get yeah, onto it. You know? Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, this has been running since nine this morning. Oh, and wow. wow. Time. Right? That whole time. That is crazy. And it's running on Wi-Fi too. And you're playing Fortnite. Yeah, that is crazy. And it's running like on, on this building's Wi-Fi. Yeah. The one that everyone else is using at the same time. Using the smaller nut. Smaller than the other one. About to leave, head out, tax summit signing. <laughs> yeah, yeet. We got out. We made it out with all our fingers and toes. <laughs> Holy we did, but we didn't make it out with everything we wanted to get. Uh, like what? Well, Square Enix was there. Square Enix. All right, Square Enix. Yeah, Square Enix. Ah. Disappointed me this year. They were there last year. They, they were, there. were. Yeah, they were there the year before that. Uh, and, so pissed. And Rooster Teeth, I don't know, man. They, they didn't even get. To, I didn't even see them. They didn't had a, they didn't had a booth. They got kicked out of like their spots. They were there for like two years straight. Yeah. You know. So overall, Jen, how you like it? It was fun. It was fun. It was good. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. You were like quiet. I was like, oh shoot, is uh, is Jen having fun right now, or just like me taking you guys around? That's my that, happy face. That's how. Love that's how you enjoy happy yourself. Happy face. Did you see? Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. Coming across so many things today. Oh my god, dude. Really things. It was crazy. Right here. New York City, y'all. I talk like a New Yorker there. <laughs> yeah. Absolute New Yorker. Oh, so, out of 10, con. Seven. Oh, sorry. Out of 10, con, out of 10, how much? Seven. I'll, I'll make a seven, so seven, seven, seven. There's a jackpot. Good job. <sighs> okay, so I just got home from Comic Con. It was definitely rather tiresome. You have to do so much walking around there. But anyway, we definitely got to do quite a lot, though this isn't the first Comic Con I go to. It's actually the third one that I go to, and surprisingly, this time there was considerably less for us to do there. I remember that my second visit was one of the best ones just because it had so many things going on last year in New York City, but this year it just seemed a little bit more barren at the very least for the things that I was mostly interested in. And there were some things that I thought were pretty cool. For example, when it comes to tech related stuff, I was able to check out Intel NUC. I saw that they actually have two versions of it. They have a much smaller one that looks a little bit like a streaming box and then they have another one that looks more like a router. That one's more feature packed for sure. I was able to test both of them, and in terms of specs, they're, it's actually still rather impressive. Like, But then again, you do have to make sure that you have an external display for it, otherwise you won't be able to use it. Even though I believe that that form factor is a little bit more for in case you have to travel with your computer. A little bit watered down, and the chassis eventually will get a little bit hot. That's probably the, the whole reasoning behind it, maybe just for travel or just as a small addition to your room or living room or something like that. But speaking of thermals, it was actually really good. It actually stayed pretty cool. However, the game that they were demoing was Fortnite at 1080p. We would have to see about a more graphically intensive game since Fortnite isn't necessarily all that. A lot of other things we got to do. Uh, we were able to go and get some signatures and that was definitely pretty fun. Some voice actors that, that I've always liked, some voice actors that my friends also liked since they were there. They were able to see them get some signatures going. Ricky definitely got one actually from Sean Schemmel. I also got the chance to 
take pictures with a lot of the cosplayers, and that was definitely a lot of fun since that is uh, at least a good portion of it. Considering that there are just so many cosplays, so many interesting versions of costumes that are just tweaked with all these personality quirks and all that from different shows. Very interesting. I had a ton of fun when it came to that. They're all very friendly, of course. And now, Comic-Con being, it was definitely very difficult to get around, even to try out some of the other tech products. Like, we actually got to the Wacom booth, and unfortunately, we couldn't test any of the products since they were all taken up and there were still other people waiting online to use them. But the people that were there were definitely intending to stay there for quite a while since they were working on rather detailed drawings. So yeah, that was unfortunate. We didn't get to touch on that tech part, sadly, but who knows. Maybe we'll be able to next year. Being a Comic-Con is always a ton of fun, and we definitely enjoyed it this time around. I enjoyed definitely looking at the tech and buying some small trink trinkets and souvenirs. But aside from that, hopefully next year there will be more to look at. Greater stuff, maybe more tech companies will want to get in there. Not just Intel and Wacom, but who knows, there might be others. That would be very exciting for sure. And as always, I would like to be able to vlog this sort of thing in the future, just because it is definitely fun just having this record of everything. And Ricky actually just vlogged for the first time today since I lent him my camera. And he definitely had a great time, especially since it was all in Comic-Con. It was just a ton of fun. The environment was just very inviting when it came to that sort of thing. So yeah, definitely something I would still like to cover in the future. Ah, I still have hat hair. I wore this beanie all day since it was a little chilly out. That said, this is the end of this vlog and this video. Hopefully this information was useful, or at the very least a nice little escape from what we usually do. This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all later. Enjoy.